Okay, here we are to talk about the Home Alone movie series is on Disney Plus. Now, I knew Home Alone 1 and 2 was on Disney Plus. Here's what I didn't know. Home Alone 3, 4, and 5 are on there too. And you're going to say, well, you know, um, it, it's, the, you know, they figured they, I don't know what happened. First of all, I don't think Disney owned all these Home Alone movies when they first got Disney Plus and made it a service. I'm just trying to go back to what I can remember. I remember the first two movies were on there. I don't remember three, four, and five. I think this is a really stupid thing to do. Um, well, it's, it's really simple because I can imagine if they went out there to try to get the rights to three, four, and five, it couldn't have cost that much money. It cost a, probably the work, smallest amount you probably ever see. I think it's stupid though. These movies were never made in HD. They were never really um, up converted in HD with any kind of um, precision, whatever you want to call it. All these are, I mean, my best guess is upscales of 3, 4, and 5. So you're going to be watching stuff that was never on Blu-ray, never on 4K, and nothing like that. I don't know what they're gonna, people are going to expect out of these movies. They've been out for a while. I should really take a look, but all I have is my phone right now. So one night I'll try to put one of the movies on, but I'm not expecting much out of these things. I'm actually really surprised that um, Home Alone 4 and 5 were actually put out there. I have Home, Home Alone 3 on Laserdisc, but that's a collector's item. It's pretty expensive. They go for about $70, $80 a piece if you go look on eBay. Sometimes a little less, but there was one I missed out on. It was a pack of three Home Alone movies on Laserdisc, 1, 2, and 3. I think it was 50 or 60 dollars. I should have bought it when I had the chance. But hey, the one I had was brand new for Home Alone 3. So I don't know what's going on here. You know, I think Disney should offer these kind of movies in a separate format, like Blu ray or something, and let it, people still have it physically. But physical movies are down the shithole. So now everything is on this other stuff, on digital services. Now, is it all that bad? Not for most people, but here's the problem. For movies like Home Alone, they're not going anywhere in, in the future. I don't think they'll ever leave Disney Plus until it's, it doesn't exist anymore. Here's the biggest problem, though. I'm going to go check something over here. Here's the biggest problem, though, is that there's going to be other movies. And there's, um, what's it going to, how do I, how am I going to put it? There's going to be other movies out there that um, are going to be on Disney Plus, and they're going to be gone they're going to be gone because then they're going to give up the rights or something's going to happen and they're going to go but that doesn't usually happen with disney because disney usually owns all its own stuff and all that but still there's a possibility but the home alone movies aren't going anywhere but that's nothing to be you know excited about this is all they've been doing disney themselves is they've been re-releasing re the same titles onto new platforms or new discs it's always the same thing um, it would have been nice because physical was just pretty much out the window now that we could um could have had of a a nice release of the home loans on blu-ray maybe a complete new remaster and all that but it didn't happen um although the um 4k for home alone was pretty good it wasn't that great so it wasn't anything to go crazy about i mean i watched it it was noticeably better than the original blu-ray but not by much what else do i have to say I'm extremely, extremely um, kind of disappointed in Disney for, for doing this. I really would have liked it if they had released a whole Blu-ray set of all these movies. I don't know why they couldn't accomplish that. That could have been, how much could it have cost to produce? You know, a lot of stuff they used to have on their movie rewards program. I don't know if it exists still. I used to get a, a lot of free movies through them. So they screwed me over. They didn't tell me the points expired. I waited like a year to go back into the website and all my points were gone. So, but um, they could have put it in something like that. Another thing is Home Alone. Th now the first two, I, I always believe they deserve HD and stuff. I think those deserve HD, but three, four and five did not. You got a TV show like Gargoyles, which everybody loved, completely more popular than say Home Alone three, four and five, and yet that doesn't get any kind of upscale or upgrade at all. It's insulting. A TV show, 
an animated TV show that everyone loved. I don't hear anyone ever say a bad thing about it. But you've got Home Alone movies that people don't care about and they're putting them in HD with 5.1 surround sound. Tell me, what the hell is 5.1 surround sound gonna make a difference in these any of these Home Alone movies? Or well, the first two maybe, but three, four, and five. You got the fifth one, he's stuck in a house that they moved to. Other than the music, there's nothing you're gonna hear for in the subwoofer or anything like that. Or any of the channels of the surround sound, you're not gonna hear much. The fourth movie, there was some music in it. When he, people falling down the stairs and the house, the mansion gets flooded. No one cares about that. The third one, other than the music, there's really nothing you could hear with surround sound from that. So let's all remember that Disney screwed us over uh, with this. I think they should have had a physical release with, with Blu-rays. They should have had a complete set of one through five on Blu-ray and they should have priced it at maybe $25. You're gonna say, well, that's kind of cheap. It's really not. Considering the fact that these movies are so bad when it comes to three, four, and five, um, well, and it gets really bad with, with four, I think that $25 would be a reasonable price. There are some sets that include three or more Blu-rays for $25. Look at Back to the Future. That's coming to the point where the whole set's gonna be $20 on Blu-ray, and I think it already has been. Well, good luck everyone. Let's hope this goes to a, a positive note. It's becoming Christmas time. Maybe they'll do something fun. Well, it's actually no positive note because Disney Plus upped their membership by another buck. And they're gonna keep doing that. They're gonna say price inflation. So every day when it gets gonna go up and everybody else that doesn't make any more money than they did before, they're gonna have to pay an extra dollar every month. All right, bye-bye.